Hey everyone, Sorrel the Cat here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a blue Omnimon deck profile for the Digimon card game. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the eggs that I like to run in this deck. Like I always say, um, you know, the eggs that you run, is to I feel like it's totally preference, so I'm just showing you guys what I run. You guys can totally run something different. I'm just showing you guys what I like. So the first one is Upamon. He came out all the way back in set one. He has an inherent effect when attacking once per turn. If your opponent has a Digimon with no Digilution cards in play, you get to draw a card. So he's just good for draw power. I'm just going to set him right there. And you can run up to five Digi Eggs. And so I use those two extra slots for Bukamon. And he has an inherited effect when attacking. You can trash the bottom Digilution card of one of your opponent's level four lower Digimon. Now that's all for the Digi Eggs. So now I'm going to show you guys the level threes here. And the first one I'm going to show you is one came out in set four. It's Galmon and he has an inherited effect. On your turn, when this card is trashed due to activating a Digimon's Digiburst, you can return this card to its owner's hand. He comes in handy whenever you use Digiburst because there's a good amount of cards in this deck that um, have Digiburst effects, so he's good. He can return back to your hand and you can use him to either play on your next turn or you can even use him to Digivolve into. The next level four I'm going to show you guys is Gobblemon that came all the way from the blue starter deck. He has an inherited effect when attacking, trash the Digilution card at the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon with level five or less. The next and last level three I'm going to show you is Gobblemon that came out in set one. I just like to use him for the draw power. Whenever you play him from your hand, you can just draw one. Now that's all for the level threes. I'm going to show you guys the level fours now. The first one is our blocker. It's Grizzlymon. And I'm running Grizzlymon because I don't think we've gotten a cheap blocker like all the other colors have gotten. Like purple, I think, has a cheaper Debbymon that costs one to Digivolve into and a little bit of a higher play cost. But I don't think blue has gotten that type of blocker yet. So we're just running Grizzlymon for our blocker. He just has that um, the effect that all blockers have. Whenever you attack with him, you lose two memory but obviously you don't really want to attack with your blocker. He's just for some defense. And our next level four that we're running is Galgamon. And he has an effect during your main phase. You can Digiburst two to draw a card. That's it for our level fours. So now let's move into the level fives. The first one is gonna be Mock Galgamon. And he has a effect on your main phase. You can Digiburst 2 to return one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to its owner's hand. And you can trash all the Digilution cards of that Digimon. And he also has an inherent effect. While you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. Set him right there. And I'll show you guys the next level 5 here. And it's Where Garurumon. He's also from the blue starter deck, and he has an inherited effect on your turn. While your opponent has a Digimon with no Digilution cards, this Digimon gains security, attack plus one. I just like to run him because he can make for a scary card on your field for your opponent. And attacking for an extra damage is always a good thing. So that was it for the level fives. Now I'll show you guys the level sixes. The first one is Zed, or is it Zed, Garurumon? Maybe somebody can correct me there. I, I've, I've been calling him Zed, Garurumon, but I don't feel like that's right. Anyways, he has an attack on your turn. When Digivolving, you can Digiburst 2 to return one of your opponent's level 5 ruler Digimon to its owner's hand, and you trash all the Digilution cards of that Digimon. I'm gonna set him right here. And the next level six we're running is Mirage Galgamon. And he has an effect. When Digivolving, you gain a memory for every four cards in your opponent's hand. And on your turn, this Digimon is unblockable. 
I have to be honest, I really don't get his first effect off that often. My opponent always seems to have uh, only four cards or less than four cards in their hand, but I really like his second effect that he is just unblockable. So if you have Wergroom on underneath him, he's attacking for two and your opponent can't do anything about it. So we're running three of him. And then, of course, if you guys haven't guessed yet, our last card and our only level 7, or our last Digimon card, I should say, is Omnimon. And he just looks so awesome. I'm so happy we're getting some more Omnimons in the next set, in set 5. So anyways, Omnimon has an ability to win Digimon. Choose one of your opponent's Digimon, delete your opponent's Digimon that share a name with it. And then he has an effect when attacking. You can unsuspend this Digimon by returning one of this Digimon's level six Digimon, <laughs> whoops, Digilution cards to your hand. Got a little lost there. But anyways, he's a super solid card, especially when you Digivolve from, you know, your level sixes. You don't really want to play him from your hand onto the field. But anyways, that's it for the actual Digimon cards. So let's now move into the option cards and the Tamer cards. Here, I'll show you guys the first one right here. I'm running four copies of Full Moon Blaster and it has a play cost of five and has an effect during your main phase. You can return one of your opponent's level five or Digimon to its owner's hand. If your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand, instead return one of your opponent's level five or Digimon to the bottom of its owner's deck and trash all the Digivolution cards of that Digimon. I'm running for this because I found that it was very uh, useful and also funny whenever my opponent would play Digimon, I would just use this or get this off in my security to return it to their hand, hand or the bottom of the deck and it would kind of make them rage and all that. But you totally don't have to run four copies of this. I just think it's a fun card to use to get rid of your opponent's Digimon kind of easily. So I'm running four of that. And the next card we're running is four copies of Hammer Spark, and I love this card. I know a lot of people uh, don't really use this card, or they don't like to use this card. I just think it's useful either in your hand or if you check it off your security, especially since we're running Omnimon in the stacks that uses um, a little bit of a good amount of memory to evolve into. So I like Hammer Spark because it gives us a little bit of extra resources to use in the deck. And now I'll show you guys the tamers that I like to use here. And the first one is Thomas blah, Thomas H. Norstein, or is it Norn, Norstein? <laughs> it's one of those. These guys have really weird names. Anyway, so he has an odd play skill. You can draw a card. And then on your main phase, if your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand, you can suspend this tamer to unsuspend one of your Digimon with Gao. In its name and we're running the whole gal line except for i think is it ancient garumon or no i don't think he has gal his name anyways but i like to run this one he has the security effect that you can just play this card without paying its memory cost set him right there and now i'll show you guys the next one i'm running i'm running three copies of matt ishia and he has an effect at the start of your turn if you have two or less memory, set your memory at three. And then he has another skill. On your turn, when you play a blue Digimon, you can suspend this tamer to trash the bomb Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. And he has the same security effect as uh, Thomas H. Nornstein has right there. You can just play him from your security without paying its memory cost. So that has been our blue Omnimon deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, maybe comment. <laughs> some deck profile or some other type of Digimon video you guys want to see coming up in the future. Uh, I know set five is coming out so expect some videos from set five and anyways I will see you guys later.